If you've ever been hooked on a series, you will probably remember what it feels like when it's over. It's like the end of the world, right? If you are still in longing for that series, look at this compilation. You will see how your sorrows pass. Welcome to the drama life of the amazing world of Gumball. So the incredible world of Gumball, depending on the country you're in. Without a doubt, it's one of the most requested on this channel, and we hope you like it. The originality of Gumball's world lies in its mix of computer animation, some motion of digital learnings and real backgrounds. It was created by Ben Bocklet for Cartoon Network. Bocklet had a few characters that had been rejected in previous projects, in that a more adult audience. And he mixed them all in a series for Cartoon Network that premiered on May 2nd, 2011. The series focuses on the life of the Wattersons, a rather peculiar family. It's made up of a cat and a rabbit, parents of a cat, a walking orange pet, and a bunny. Together they live in the typical, and at the same time, strange city of Elmo. The protagonist of the series is Gumball, Christopher Watterson, a 12-year-old cat with an overflowing imagination. He is a very naughty cat, and although he's always getting into trouble, he never learns the lesson. He is in love with Penny, a peanut-looking girl with horns, that drives him crazy. His best friend is Darwin Rivalin Caspian, and have beside Nicodemus Watterson III, or just Darwin. He was Gumball's pet, but his DNA mutated. His legs and arms grew and his brain changed, learning to speak and live out of water. From that day on, he became a member of the family. Bunny's Watterson is the little sister. She's three years old and is a pink rabbit. Despite her age, she's two courses ahead of Gumball, and Darwin the sense she is gifted. Often you will see her getting them out of trouble, thanks to her intelligence, and she usually carries her doll Daisy, the donkey. And as takes after her mother Nicole, a 42 year old cat addicted to her work at the Rainbow Factory. Arguably, they are truly responsible characters in the series. But has a short temper and can be a little aggressive, but she loves her family. Richard Watterson is the father, a 44-year-old pink rabbit who cat childish, and without any worries. He spends time watching TV, sleeping, and playing video games. If he can spend a day in his underwear, he feels he's just another kid in the family. But he's secretly in love with Gumball. She has a horn peanut with two holes in her shell from which she can see. During the third season, the shell breaks, and we will discover that she is a kind of bright entity that floats, and can change shape. Was that a spoiler? Device Wilson is the anti of the ball's rival. It is not well known what kind of thing or animal he is, but he is detestable. Rachel is his sister, she also has rainbow color, and seems to be in love with Darwin. We also have the crazy banana Joe, a 3D banana with bulging eyes, who's always playing the clown. His homemade dancing videos are proof of this. Fairy is a gothic looking, 11 year old ghost who seems to have feelings for her. This fun scaring people and loves junk food. Leslie is a hyperactive plant. And Masami Yashi is a cloud, not the owner of the Rainbow Factory. Leader Rex is the class bully, a dirty source who lives in a garbage can, and Horace is our protagonist. Ellen is the Don Warren of class, and he is a blue balloon, and he is in love with Carmen the Cactus. This strange couple will maintain a relationship despite the adversities. After five seasons, we'll get to 100 episodes, and with the 60 seasons on the way to close the story. The absurd, incredible, and at the same time amazing War of Gumball has become one of the most original series of all time. This has been the Draw My Life of the Amazing World of Gumball. Welcome to Draw My Life of the Simpsons. On April 19th, 1987, The Simpsons was born by Matt Brennan. They did a shorts in a program called The Tracy Ellman Show, and they were there for three years. Brennan made some basic sketches of the Simpson family based on his own. And his father's name is Homer. The animators believed that the family was that simple, and that's why the shorts have such poor quality. And that yellow color. On December 17, 1989, Fox Network decided to take the yellow family to prime time and give them 30 minutes. This first episode would be called Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, and it is the only one that does not open with the famous clouds. Fox has the rights until 2082. The work is so meticulous that they even have specific writers for the posters and magazines that appear in the series. Homer has only one voice actor in America. They didn't have Castellini, who holds the record for the actor, who has been playing a character the longest. But he not only does the voice of Homer, but also Grandfather Simpson on the year bill, Krusty the Clown Willie, and many, many more. Fridfield of the City of the Simpsons is supposed to be based on Portland, where Matt Groening grew up. But actually, there are more than 15 cities with that name in the United States. They have even played with this in all 27 seasons, always covering their location on the map. The merchandise of The Simpsons is infinite. There is practically no article about them that has not already been done. 
There is even an amusement park in Orlando that recreates various areas of Springfield. They even have board on the license place. I'm sure sounds familiar to you. Several voice actors have passed away in these 27 years. One of them, one of who played Troy McClure, brutally murdered by his wife. Or Edna Crabapple, who recently died of cancer. Maggie is the only character in the series who doesn't speak. Hardly a single word, she just makes the noise of the pacifier, which is the same that Matt Green created in his house. In 2007, The Simpsons make a leap to the big screen with The Simpsons movie. Fox held a contest to choose in which real Springfield film would be released. And finally, the chosen Springfield was in the state of Vermont. There was the world premiere. The most successful series in history is broadcast in half the world, including the Middle East, and although the sale of its dolls is prohibited, it has billed more than $4 million to date. More than 600 celebrities have appeared in the series, giving voice to their own characters. From Paul McCartney to Stephen Hawkins, going through Lady Gaga. The first of them all was singer Tony Bennett, who appeared in the second season. The creators of The Simpsons also ventured in the series. That's why in 1999, they launched Futurama. For several seasons, it was a success. There's even an episode of The Simpsons, in which the Futurama characters travel for the past to visit Springfield. In a Halloween special, The Simpsons are already part of popular culture. It's very difficult to see something that hasn't already appeared in the series. Even South Park has an episode called The Simpsons, Already Did It, in which they are looking for a plot that Yellow family has not done. Finally, they give up, of course. The characters of the series never grow up, except in special episodes. But if they did, Homer would be 63 right now. Marge would be 62. We're 36. Lisa 34. And Maggie 26. But at least as we know them right. So we can enjoy the most successful family on television for many more years. Welcome to Draw My Life of the series of Zombie. When you imagine waking up one day with your two brains and discover that you have become a zombie, that's what happened to Liv, the protagonist of our zombie, a series based on the comic of the same name and broadcast by XN, and that will soon premiere its third season. Olivia, known as Liv, had a perfect life. A fiancé, a job in a renowned hospital, and a promising future. But one day, she gets invited to a party on the boat that ends up turning into a zombie massacre. And she gets infected. She cuts off my her fiancé and her family and friends believe she suffers from depression. She doesn't want to infect anyone. She changes her job from the hospital to working in the month dissecting corpses. This is key because zombies need to eat human brains in order not to go into a state of disarray. Her boss Ravi discovers her zombie state and covers it up. He also wants to study her to know her skills and characteristics. He is a great support for Liv and starts research to find the possible cure for zombieism. When Liv eats her brain, she gains the skills of the deceased and his visions of their death. That is why Ravi encourages her to work with Clyde Baby now. A homicide detective who thinks Liv is a seer. Together they will solve the different cases in each episode. Going back to the story, one of the villains of the series is Blaine, a zombie dedicated to infecting other people and then selling them brains. Yes, he's dedicated to trafficking brains. When Liv discovers his power, she tries to stop him, but Blaine always gets away with it. On the other hand, we have Wanda Clark, the director of energy drinks, Max Rager. These drinks combined with the new your utopium is what makes people zombies. The clock wants to hide these side effects and send his minions to kill Liv. Tony ends up discovering the existence of zombies, but he doesn't know his ex is one of them. The young man finds Blaine's headquarters and decides to finish him off. It ends with Liv injecting Blaine with an experimental who developed by Ruby. And Myra, on the verge of death, is turned into a zombie. Although then Liv returns him to normally using the last dose of the cure. In the second season, the clock forces Myra to catch zombies to store them in a cold chamber earning himself the nickname Chaos Killer. He tries to have a relationship with Liv again, but they end up being friends. Ravi is still in the process of getting a new zombie antidote, and Lane confronts his former boss and mobster Stacy Bus who's after him. Lane will become a zombie again and follow as a side effect of the antidote. But before he dies again, he injects himself with the second cue that Ravi develops during this season that makes you completely lose your memory. The FBI and Detective Clive discover that Myra's the Chaos Killer and jail him. And now he goes back to his zombie mode. The club pays his bail and when he leaves, Clive waits for him to lock him up again. Luckily Liv convinces the police that she is a zombie and details everything that is happening. Remember we said that the clock for zombies. The situation gets worse when Liv, Meyer, Ruby, and Clive discover the captured zombies have become savages and escape through the headquarters of Max Rager. The clock will end up dying attacked by zombies. 
At the last moment when it looks like the wild zombies are going to win, the company called Fillmore Brave shows up, which is also made up of zombies. Their goal is to create a safe environment for them, ending the wild ones and offering Liv and Martin to be part of the team. By the trust to Ori, we will have to wait for the new season to discover the true intentions of this new group, and what adventures are in store for the protagonists. What we can be sure of is that we will see many brains, there will be new infections and more enemies will appear. If you also like this type of zombies, like and subscribe if someone wants a brain. Welcome to the drama Life of Star vs. The Forces of Evil. The series tells us the story of Star Butterfly, a magical princess from another dimension. And her antics make her parents decide to send her to Earth, where she will live with the Diaz family as an exchange student. As she trains and learns to use her powers. She will live with Marco Diaz, responsible and organized for her place hard. Together they will live multi-dimensional adventures, fighting against evil creatures, while they go to school like any teenager. When Star turned 14, she inherited her family's magic wand. She still doesn't know how to control her powers, so sometimes she tries to fix things with it, and ends up making them worse. With practice and reading the manual she has, she will discover its incredible potential. Star is very energetic and purposeful, which sometimes gets her into more than one problem, that she will solve with the help of the reasonable Marco. Meanwhile, he will learn to be a little more daring, less obsessive, and open up a little more to what life offers him. We will need Angie and Raffle Diaz, Marco's optimistic and happy parents, as well as the rebellious Pony or Ponyhead, Star's best friend in her home dimension. We won't be good friends with Marco. At school, we have Ferguson and Alfonso, Marco's friends and Jackie is a girl who loves skateboarding, and for Marco has been in love with since he was little. With a few dimensions beyond his tongue, a three-eyed demon stars ex-boyfriend. He has fits of anger and a ryanist therapist, remedies it with bunnies. Glossarik is a rather peculiar magical being, who protects the secrets of the manual of Star's wand. On the forces of evil, we will need Blue Ice, who wants to dominate the universe with Star's wand. It's very awkward and a general disaster, so often his plans will be cut short by our heroes. Puffy is an evil, as well as elegant. Lizard plans to destroy the magic wand, although we don't know his motives. He's capable of regenerating entire parts of your body, although he's always missing the middle finger or a hand. Sir vs. the Forces of Evil began airing in January 2015, being created by Darren Mufsi. It's the first series created by a woman on Disney XD, and the second could be done on Disney television animation. Today it has two seasons available, a third on the way, and a renewal for real fourth season. For six years, Darren had a series in mind, trying to sell his idea to various television channels. Sir originally believed to have magical powers that only exist in her mind. But after presenting to Disney, they suggested that her powers be real. Initially, Star and Marco were to be rivals. She's clearly based on magical girls like Sailor Moon, anime and manga girls with magical powers. While Marcos was the more as an action character like Dragon Ball, Peter Darren turned his proposal over and it was accepted keeping several previous ideas. It was so good that by the time the first season was being broadcast on Disney XD, the renewal for its second season was already confirmed. Also the first gay kiss in Disney history included in the series. When the protagonists and Jackie are at a concert, and the audience kisses in the background, from the same sex couple. With three Annie Award nominations and growing success, we predict a bright future for this series that has captivated its young and not so young viewers. And this has been the draw of my life of Star vs. The Forces of Evil. If you liked it, who would like, share it and let us know who you want our next draw of my life to be about. Welcome to the draw of my life of Steven Universe. It all started on May 21st, 2013, when Rebecca Sugar created a Cartoon Network request for the pilot episode of Steven Universe. All of the characters looked different, and the story was different. We were already introduced to the heroes, who would appear in the series. A few months later, the first two episodes of the series appeared, and for the first time a woman directed a series on Cartoon Network. The first three episodes were ordered, but the reception was so good they extended to 26 and later to 52. The series has been renewed in 2015 and 2016 with 26 chapters in each season. It tells us of the adventures of a boy named Steven, who together with James Carl and Hethiston Granite will defend the Earth from Dark Forces. Throughout the series, Stephen will learn to master the power of his gem, inherited from his late mother. The gems are warriors with supernatural powers, survivors of an ancient space civilization. 
They had to leave their home millennia ago, and now live in Beach City, where Steve is born. Half German, half human, the son of Greg, and Rose Quartz. Our heroes must face other gems that endanger the universe with their enormous powers. Like Jasper Peridot and Lapis Lazula, other gems have become corrupted, losing their human and form. We all saw Connie, Steve's best friend. Before meeting him, she had no friends, and as a result of her relationship with Steven, her role in the series will become more important. Joining the fight with the gems. Did you know that Steven's character is based on Rebecca's little brother? In addition to sharing a name, Steven should draw the backgrounds of the series. The gems represent the different facets of the author, resulting in the perfectionist pearl, the impulsive amethyst, and the mysterious garnet. Which is your favorite? Tell us in the comments. The gems have the power to merge with each other by synchronizing their movements. Forming powerful warriors totally different from their previous forms. In fact, the leader of the gems, Garnet is a fusion between the gems, Ruby and Sapphire. Before Steven Universe, Rebecca Sugar had already worked with Catch and Network in the series Adventure Time. They started supervising storyboards and was promoted to screenwriter, also composing songs from the series. Their episodes were so successful. The network asked her to present her own project and from where Steven was born. It is undeniable that women have an important role in the series. When Steven Greg most of the relevant characters are female. Rebecca wanted to create a show that everyone could watch, then playing shows aimed at boys only or girls only. Throughout the series, a flashback appears explaining the history of the gems before Steven was born. New characters and powers also appear, giving much more complexity to the initial plot. With over 100 episodes and four seasons, various shorts, comics, and toys, plus two Emmy Award nominations, and one Emmy nomination, the Finny Universe has carved a niche for itself as one of the top rated current animated series. What is your favorite show? If it doesn't appear in the compilation, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to see some of these videos again, you have them separately on this channel. Until the next video.